I want to talk to y'all about something that's very important to me. It's invasive species in our waterways. I'm talking about plant-based or animal-based, all right? Um, well, you know what? It's an infection. You've probably heard about some of the things in the Great Lakes, whether it's the zebra mussels or maybe gobies. Um, in Florida, it's a lot of plant matter, invasive species in Florida plants. Uh, coming from the Rocky Mountains, most of our states had inspection stations that we had to go through when we were taking boats from one state to the next state because they did not want, you know, uh, these <laughs> invasive species brought into Wyoming, Idaho, Montana uh, from other states. Okay, so the inspection stations, you'd go by, they would flush your engine. They would also clean your live well, as well as the bilge, a solution that they would put in the bilge. And that's why I'm here today is to talk to you how important it is for you to think about this, all right? It's not just for our waters today. They've been infected for 50 years and things have been changing. If we don't do something about it, they're gonna be infected for another 50 years and could get worse with more plants and more species that we are transporting from one body of water to the next. If we want the next generation to have things as good as we had it, we need to take control of it now and do something about it. This application that Flushmaster offers to be able to flush the engines, it's, it, it's not a lot. It's, it's microscopic organisms that get into a lake and then over time, overtake a lake. For me, the biggest concern is hydrilla, okay? Hydrilla in Florida is an invasive species. It's also great habitat for bass and ducks love it as well. But once you get hydrilla in a lake, you know what? You're probably never gonna get rid of it. It's something you're continually gonna be fighting and it can take over a lake and actually top out the lake. So that's what I'm talking about. I personally have a, a lease that I'm responsible for that uh, you know we take care of our water, manage our water, manage it for invasive species. And part of what we do is cleaning our bilge, cleaning our live well, and flushing our engines. And it's as easy as using something like the Flushmaster. I started by using this in salt water, flushing salt water out of my engines, but it actually works incredibly well for, you know, any preventative measures for uh, invasive species in different waterways. So the state doesn't require it, but as anglers, we have a responsibility. If we want to see things get better so that we can hope that our children in 50 years are going to have the same quality of water experiences that we have now, we've got to do something. We have to change, we have to right the wrongs that have been done and prevent any more wrongs from happening. So that's where this comes in hand. Um, I'm proud to be associated with them and uh, it's amazing to think about uh, the amount of time that we don't do it and what we could be preventing. So I just ask all of you to try your best, participate in it, and if everybody does their part, we can make a difference. Flushmaster, flush your engines without flushing your time.